Hi everybody. I had an interesting theory to myself the other day. Um, I happened to notice after Busby and I finished our walk and came, went back to the car, I happened to look over here. Something caught my eye. It was a CD, compact disc, that someone had. I don't. The wind, I guess, could have blown it there, but I think more likely somebody put it up up there over the branch of a tree. And the same day, somebody had left like little toaster pastries around. There was one on that stump, and pine cones were arranged to kind of like point to it. And there was one on the naughty bench. And then there were more for, uh, further down, another one. And um, they all had like pine cones pointing to them. And it just, it just hit me. I wonder, now over here, near the naughty bench on this little path that doesn't go anywhere, there's a snowflake decoration hanging from a branch. Part of me was wondering, because of that entry in the BFRO, which is the Bigfoot database for sightings across the uh, U.S., that's online, and BFRO is an organization that investigates and catalogs sightings and, and uh, whatnot. Because this, this forest preserve, Lions Woods, has a listing in there for the uh, tracks found in the snow, like about three years ago, I wonder if somebody is coming and leaving gifts for Bigfoot. Now, not one character named Bigfoot, but for a possible Bigfoot, a Sasquatch. Some people subscribe to that, that you, and some Native American tribes have subscribed to that, that they left them gifts, they left them fish, they left them sugar, they leave them things. In the past, some Native Americans did that so that the Bigfoot would leave them alone, wouldn't bother their crops, wouldn't bother their animals, their people, if they sort of like paid them off in foodstuffs. Some modern Bigfoot enthusiasts want to have contact with a Sasquatch, a Bigfoot. And they leave them gifts, hoping that they'll be able to lure them in or gain their trust. So I'm wondering if somebody is doing that here. Leaving things hanging from the trees and, you know, food and stuff. But then I thought, what would that have to do with the pine, obscene pine cone formations and all of that nonsense? Is it two different people? I don't know. I just thought that that was interesting. I, I wondered if somebody is... Another Bigfoot enthusiast is trying to lure them in or offer them gifts or something. But then I thought, what about those obscene pine cone formations? That must be somebody different? <laughs> or somebody trying to proposition a Bigfoot? I don't know. Anyway, food for thought. I have not seen anything yet. No offerings, nothing hanging from trees, new. I have not seen any biscuits laying around. Nothing. Bless you. It's supposed to snow again this weekend and get very cold. It's very depressing to me. This weekend is supposed to be very cold and snowy. But then, by the end of next week, we're supposed to be up to 60 again. So have to look forward to that. It's rather cold right now. It's only, uh, I don't know, maybe 20-something, low 30s. So, I'm going to turn this off and put my hand back in my pocket. I'm going. To, we're going to go down our little trail here and see if there's any footprints in the stream. Or sometimes we see deer over here, so. Bye. <laughs>